Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is a blessed day in the name of the Lord. This is your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. Here we are on Fidget TV Network. As we get ready to start our program today, we'd like to acknowledge God and go before the Lord in a word of prayer. Eternal God, our Savior, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, as we come before your presence, we want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us. We want to thank you, Lord, for your divine protection. Thank you, Lord, for being, oh God, our all in all. We thank you right now. And Lord, as we pray today, Lord, we ask your blood will cover your people during times like these. We pray, God, oh God, for, oh God, rest. We pray for peace in the midst, oh God of chaos. We pray God would touch and strengthen and encourage your people. Send healing to those that desire healing. Strength to those that desire strength. Oh God, an increase of faith. We pray that you would send it from on high. In the precious name of Jesus, send the promise of the Holy Ghost, Lord, to those that are seeking you right now. We thank you and we praise you and we decree it done by faith. And we ask you to bless this program today, oh God, and all of our listeners and subscribers. Bless us now, Lord. As we decrease, we ask that your anointing would increase. And, oh, God, that you will bless the hearers and listeners, that they will be doers of your word. And, Father, we thank you. We forever give you praise. And we claim a great deliverance in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just one moment here. Okay, caller, you there? Hold on one. Are you still there? All right. Just one moment, please. Praise the Lord. Are you there, caller? Yes. All right. Well, praise the Lord. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Well, praise the Lord. You're here on Faith in God Internet TV. And so we thank God for you being here with us, uh, Elder Green, being on the broadcast with us today. Amen. Uh, how are you today? Very fine, thank you. Well, praise the Lord. Well, we thank God for you, my brother. Um, we have a great subject matter today. Uh, we still... Uh, dealing with the subject matter of count it all joy, amen, when you fall into divers temptation. And so um, our subject matter is, you know, um, the prayer of faith keeps us counting. And so we're here today to uh, thank God for you. Um, we honor God, we honor our bishop, we honor our first lady, to my wife, Missionary Newsom, to all the Fidget TV subscribers and to all the listeners. Um, we thank God for each and every one of you. And uh, definitely one of our guests today, um, Elder Gerald Green is with us today. Um, and we thank and praise God for him, amen, being with us today. Uh, come on, Elder Green, come on, uh, give us your uh, uh, call sign and also give us uh, definitely, um, you know, um, uh, the ministry that you're in, uh, in St. Paul, Minnesota. So come on, uh, uh, introduce yourself to uh, our audience today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, passengers under uh, Paul Hill. And uh, they are realize that uh, we're living in a troubling time, things going on in the world, but uh, having faith and hope in the Lord Jesus Christ is the answer to all our problems. He can help us, he can deliver us, and stay up with his saints. Amen. Mercy and power, that's what has helped. Uh, and then we can have confidence in that. Yes. Uh, we can definitely have confidence in that. And, and, and we can count it all things of joy. Yes. Uh, the fact that we have each other, saints of God, each other, and the fact that we have this Lord Jesus Christ to help us through the day. Absolutely. Amen. And definitely in times like these, uh, we definitely need a savior and uh, we know Jesus is the savior. And so uh, the answer, uh, Jesus is the answer to the world for the world today. And so we know that he's able to uh, uh, keep us from falling and he's able to present us faultless uh, before uh, the coming of his glory. And so we know that God is able to uh, uh, keep the people of God and even those that come to him he will no wise cast them out. And so we want to um, just read quickly for you hearing today, uh, James uh, uh, one and two, uh, actually James chapter one, verse number two and uh, through five. And it says here, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience, but let patience have a perfect work that you may be entire and wanting nothing. And it says, if any of you like wisdom, let him ask of God, which give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. And also I wanted to uh, uh, incorporate uh, our prayer anthem, which is a uh, second Chronicles. So if you're out there listening with us today, uh, please turn to this scripture and we're going to refer to this one today uh, for our subject matter. Uh, the prayer of faith keeps us counting. And we would like to go to uh, Second Chronicles uh, chapter seven. Uh, and that's where we're going to we're going to read a few passages there uh, so that uh, we can kind of get the just of uh, the prayer of faith keeps us counting. And there are some things we must do as believers uh, in times like these. We can't just. Uh, uh, bear our head in the sand. Some people are stoked with fear. Um, some people, they won't come out to church and pray and worship the Lord. And so, um, you know, the government has just um, got people terrified. But uh, we that are believers, um, we should not fear. Amen. Because the Lord is our light and our salvation. And so we, sh we know that uh, the Lord is our refuge. And so we don't have to worry about um, these sequence of events because uh, the Lord did. Uh, the Lord uh, did uh, let us know in Matthew 24 that uh, the end times uh, was going to be fastly approaching, and so we should not uh, be shaken. You know, neither should we be troubled. But let's let's get this scripture here, which is found in Second Chronicles chapter seven, uh, for our listeners today and our subscribers. And we want to thank God for our listening audience today. Amen. We thank God for you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. And so here we are in Second Chronicles chapter seven, um, and I'd like to go through uh, to uh, verse number uh, twelve uh, because we can see uh, that the Lord has appeared into these sequences of events. Um, people couldn't see the Lord uh, uh, probably before this coronavirus and stuff happened, but now you should clearly be able to see the Lord now because nobody can do anything you know, except the Lord intervene. Somebody say amen. And so uh, let us look at this verse number 12. And it says, and the Lord appeared. It says here, and the Lord appeared uh, to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer. Look at that. And have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. Now, if there's any place we should be offering up prayer and sacrifice, it should be in the house of God at times like these. And he goes on to say in verse number 13, he says, if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain 
or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people. Now we can see uh, that pestilence has arrived. But he says here to the people of God, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, praise the Lord. So these are praying times. You know, we we uh, we should be praying. And it says, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Praise the Lord. And so he says, then he says, now my eyes shall be open in my ear, intent to the prayer that is made in this place. The house of God should be filled with saints praying at times like these because his ears is open to the prayers of the righteous, but his face is against them that do evil. And so we, we ought to know that we're in a time now where our face should be pointed toward Jerusalem, should be pointed toward the Lord. And so we should be calling on the name of the Lord so he can um, he can hear, heal the land. You know, he can forgive the people. He can forgive the sin. He's the only one that can do it. And so if we are troubled in times like these, uh, I encourage you, my friend, uh, to go to the rock, go to Jesus. You know, and if you uh, are out there and you're stoked with fear and you're having problems with, uh, you know, the coronavirus and with the pandemic and with all that's being said, you need to go to your leader and go to your pastors and get prayer. Um, you, and you should be in prayer. If you stoke with fear, you should be in, in company uh, associated with a body of believers because our inheritance among them that are sanctified and we should be praying. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so if we're uh, if we're nervous or we're having uh, anxiety at times like this, you know, the Bible tells us in uh, Philippians four and six, it says, but be prayer, be careful for nothing. Right. And it says, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made unto God and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Isaiah 26 and three says, I will keep you in perfect peace who mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. We ought to keep our minds on the Lord at times like these. There's no time for panic. Uh, there's no time to be, uh, uh, you know, overcome with fear. Uh, and as I said uh, earlier in the week, uh, you go to the grocery store and it's just sheer chaos. None of us should be uh, trying to, you know, uh, clear out the shelves with toilet paper. What is toilet paper going to do? in your situation, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, clearing out the shelf of toilet paper at times like this, you, you're going to need more than toilet paper. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. That's true. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, in times like these, we're just allowing fear to overcome, you know, and, uh, we have to know in second Timothy one and seven, he says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, Amen. you know, and so we as a people of God, we should uh, we should be able to have peace and rest in the arms of God. Uh, I have one more scripture that I want to go over, Elder Green, and then I'll, uh, I'll hear from you. But I want to go back to uh, Mark. Let's go back to St. Mark. And I kind of had read it earlier in the week, but I'd like to go back to St. Mark chapter 11. And we're going to start at about verse number 24. and. Uh, Take a look at this for a second here. And so let's take a look at Mark 11 and 24. He says, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And he says in 25, when you stand praying, forgive. If you have aught against any, that your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Praise the Lord. But if you do not forgive, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Praise the Lord. And so this is a time right now. People are fearful about the pandemic or the coronavirus. 
but people have been holding stuff in their heart for years and haven't gotten fearful enough to get rid of it. But now that this pandemic is on the scene, you need to get rid of it quick. Praise the Lord. Because uh, here's the thing. Uh, you've been told to repent. You've been told to get yourself right, get yourself together, get saved. And you've been playing hooky. You've been playing hopscotch. And, you know, you, you know, you just been, you know, playing, you know, on the playground, on the merry-go-round. But now that this uh, thing has hit, uh, the whole world has been shaken. God is shaking the foundation of the earth. And so now it's time for all believers and all people everywhere to get their lives together and uh, uh, get get saved, you know, get their life together with the Lord. And so this is not a time I'm not on here by no means. Am I trying to stoke fear? Because I believe that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And so if you ain't heard the Lord uh, in the prior months and years to this pandemic happening, you should clearly be hearing the voice of the Lord right now. Praise the Lord. And so if you're not going to heed to the word of God, praise the Lord, then uh, you, you're not going to be ready for the next sequence event that's going to happen on this earth. And so we encourage you today uh, through the Faith in God TV Internet Network to uh, put your hate, put your faith, uh, trust and hope in God. Uh, put your hatred down, put down your malice, uh, put down everything that's not like God and grab a heart of thanksgiving, grab a heart of repentance. Grab a heart of uh, of adoration and praise toward God and God will come in and he will fill you with the Holy Ghost if you truly are broken and contrite. And this is one of the things that we're dealing with in the church and in the world today is people think that they can just come at the last moment and receive, you know, uh, 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 salvation. But yeah, as long as the church is here, you can get salvation. Salvation is available. But I admonish you today that you hear his voice, not to harden your heart, because we don't know the day or the hour when the Son of Man shall appear. And this is why we preach this gospel message. This is why we preach the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, so you can be prepared when the Lord comes. We don't want to be like the foolish virgins in uh, Matthew 24 there, or 25. We don't want to be like them in Matthew 25 didn't take enough oil in their lamp. You need to be ready. And the only way to be ready is we need to prepare ourselves now through prayer and through supplication, through seeking the face of God, through broken and contrite spirit, through repentance, through a man forgiveness, through a man just submitting to the will of God. And God promised a man to release a man the, uh, the promise of his spirit. He said he was going to pour out spirit upon all flesh, according to Joel 2 and 28. And I believe God is yet doing it right now. And so if you're in need of the Holy Ghost, you're in need of deliverance, you're in need of strength today, the Lord can pour it out upon you now. And before we dismiss uh, this program today, we're going to have a word of prayer and we're going to hear from our Elder Green, our, our guest today, amen, that he's going to come, amen, and encourage you as well, amen, to give your life to the Lord. And so at this time, we're going to pause for a moment um, to uh, have our elder green share a man with us a man uh, from true apostolic which is uh in uh st paul minnesota so we're gonna um uh, uh receive him at this time amen yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, uh, uh minneapolis, minneapolis minneapolis yes yeah minneapolis yes <laughs> sorry about that correct but i was thinking came to my remembrance i heard a message several years ago from um, Bishop uh, James Johnson, and it was a comforter. What we need right now is comfort. Yes. Because when one is distressed, stressed, fearful, you're, you're uncomfortable. But the Holy Ghost, praise the Lord, in, in Jesus, he is the comforter. When things happen, and we know that things are serious, whether it be by family mishap, or death, or, or losing a job, right? Trying to feed your family, it, it's stressful. It's very stressful. But we, but we have a hope. Yeah. And the hope is in Jesus Christ, and He is the Comforter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what one needs. 
in comfort. And if you don't trust in the Lord, you're uncomfortable. Because yeah. you don't know what you're going to do. You don't know which direction to go. Right. And then if my people, see, that are called by my name. See, I'm called by the name of, of the Lord Jesus. So I, I, I can depend on him. I'm not going to be afraid. I know that I, I take it seriously. Right. But I have hope. Yeah. We and my got hope is in Jesus Christ. And, the, and that makes me comfortable that I don't have to worry. Absolutely. That I don't have to be fearful. Amen. You know? And, and that's, that's what gives me strength. That's what gives me power and confidence. And, and, and by remembering those words from that bishop, the comforter. Yeah. And he is a comforter. Yeah. That, 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 that gives me, that gives me hope. Amen. And, and cause we, we are human. We know we're going to someday pass away. Right. But I don't have to stress about it. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. From their wicked ways, as my brother, my sister, love them, uh, forgive them, uh, uh, and let them go on in Jesus' name. Amen. We obey the laws of the land, just like we render the cease of the things that are healing, and we give, give render unto the things that are God, the things that are to, to the Lord. Absolutely. So, Praise the Lord, so my friend. So we're, 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 we're going on in, in faith. We're going to continue to pray, continue to preach. Continue to sing mighty in the name of Jesus. Absolutely. And blessed Holy Ghost and let the Lord Jesus Christ. That's, that's, that's what we have. That's, 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 that's our hope. But the song says, my hope is built on what? Nothing, Nothing less. less. <laughs> than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. There Amen. it is. Amen. And so that's what I wanted to add. You know, seriously, we, the people of the United States of America, we need to come pray for our leaders, pray for our, 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 our president. But Absolutely. They, need, they need to understand that the hope is in Jesus Christ. That's where it is, my friend. That's it. And I may mention you, May 7th is, is the National Day of Prayer. Yes. But the day of, National Day of Prayer is right now. Every right day. now. Every day. That's Every it. Day. Now, I'm not going to wait to May 7th to fast. I'm not going to wait to May 7th to, 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 to pray. Right. And I hope that that some comfort in uh in that in these words from you. We thank you uh, for this podcast and I uh, hope others that are in the sound of our voice, uh all of the other leaders from all across the world, whether be in China, Russia, right here in the United States of America, what be South America. Right. Realize that we need a community. Any That's who we need. We, we need the Lord. That is the answer. Now, a lot of people ain't going to say, no, nah, we don't need that. Well, okay. We'll yeah. find out. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, you know, I, I would, uh, I'd rather make sure he's on board than, uh, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, uh, playing Russian roulette with my soul because we, we're going to spend eternity somewhere. And, you know, scripture did say, you know, um, it's appointed on the man wants to die and after this, the judgment. And so um, we definitely uh, should be encouraged. And when the disciples uh, themselves got full of anxiety, Jesus comforted them with comforting words. And he said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, believe in God, believe also in me. And he said, my father's house is many mansions. And so there's protections that come with uh, the blood of Christ. There's uh, divine protection, you know, that comes with God's people. And we know, from uh, the uh, great mass exodus uh, with Moses and the Israelites that uh, they had 10 plagues that came upon uh, uh, Pharaoh's house, but it did not, uh, the uh, people of God didn't suffer any of those plagues. Anybody that came uh, into the midst or into the dwellings of the people of God, you know, according to Psalms 91 and three and Psalms 91 and 10, it doesn't come nigh our dwelling because of the blood of Jesus has been applied through our lives through water baptism and through repentance and through the uh, baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, we are covered by the blood, but like you said, uh, you know, even if uh, a believer contracts the coronavirus and uh, expires out of this life, we understand that uh, salvation places us in another place with the Lord 
because being absent from the body allows us to be present with the Lord. But if you don't have Jesus and leave out of here with the coronavirus, you are lost. Praise the Lord. And so we want to make sure that nobody misunderstands us and we're not stoking fear, but we're just giving you truth today. And uh, I want to give you a word of encouragement um, just for uh, uh, just for uh, just a moment here and through the scripture. And it's in Psalms 61 here. And he says, hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry unto thee. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And he says, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he says, uh, David says here, he says, I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in uh, the covert of thy wings. Praise the Lord. We under the protection. We under his wings. In Psalms 91, he said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Praise the Lord. And so uh, I'm encouraged today through these scriptures. It says here, for thou, O God, has heard my vows and thou has given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. He said, thou will prolong the king's life and in the years and his years as many generations, he shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. And this is the thing I want to say, my friend, to us today. It's mercy, it's God's mercy and God's truth that's going to preserve us in times like these. And if you're not accepting God's mercy, and if you're rejecting truth, you're out of the ark of safety. Praise the Lord. And so we need the Lord. I go back to agree with... Uh, Elder Green today, we need the Lord. These are times that we need to be unifying in prayer and calling on the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so so we we pray that God will, uh, you know, hear us. We pray that God will, uh, you know, uh, inter intercede on our behalf. But most of all, we're praying that all believers everywhere would come together and pray for one hour. Praise the Lord. And so, Elder Green, if there's nothing else that you have, my friend, Want to thank you for being a part of the broadcast. We do salute, amen, uh, Pastor Hill in Minneapolis there. Uh, we thank and praise God for um, all of you there, amen, in the ministry there. And so we just want to uh, give a shout out to all of uh, those of you that in uh, Minneapolis there. And uh, we just want to thank God for you all and definitely for you joining us being on the broadcast today. Definitely want to thank God for all our subscribers. And so uh, before any final words, we'll let uh, uh, Ella Green express and uh, we'll uh, have him uh, close out with a word of prayer. And then we'll give our final words and comments. Amen. In the hands of Ella Green at this time. Well, yes, thank you very, very much. Uh, like I said, I just want people to be assured that uh, Jesus is the comfort. Yes. And they're, and they're fearful. But we have to realize that Jesus is the comforter. I and see. you have to, sometimes it takes, <laughs> if, you, if you haven't told yourself that or realized that, you have to keep on telling yourself that. You know, sometimes you have to tell yourself, well, you're like, you're like, it's like a, uh, a cold glass of water thrown in your face and, and you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and that wakes you up and it's like yeah absolutely <laughs> you know we're, we're smelling salt when the box is in the ring and you, 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 you know that bring it back around you know it's but, true uh, jesus is the comforter and uh, it, it's not to get folks uh fearful it's to give them what we do as ministers men and women of the lord jesus to realize that um, to help, to comfort, put them in the right direction. Absolutely. And so that's what we do. That's what we're. That's our assignment. You Amen. Know, to help. You know, and that it's a serious thing. And I, and I uh, enjoy it. Uh, I thank you for uh, being able to call on this podcast. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus. Name. Amen. Well, we thank God for you, my brother, and uh, we definitely appreciate uh, you. Uh, for being on this broadcast with us today. And uh, 
I uh, just wanted to say to uh, all of the believers, you know, that, uh, you know, that are here on the broadcast today, um, look at Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. He says here, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I'm meek and lowly in heart, and you can find rest for your soul, unto your souls. He says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I agree with Elder Green. You know, the Lord is a comforter. And uh, we need times uh, we need times to uh, be comforted by the spirit. And I believe prayer is in order. And so as we get ready to uh, uh, end the broadcast today, we thank God for uh, Elder Green being with us. Uh, uh, we just want to uh, get ready to uh, close out the broadcast, but we want to uh, close it out with uh, a brief word of prayer. So as we uh, go before the Lord, we're going to uh, definitely acknowledge him that he may um, direct our path, okay? And so let us, uh, let us pray at this time. Eternal God, our Savior, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, as we come before thee and before thy throne, we pray, God, for comfort in times like these. We pray for comfort for your people. We pray for comfort for our God, our leaders, our officials. Touch in the name of Jesus. Give them direction, Lord. You are the answer. Oh, God, direct their hearts in the name of Jesus. Bless our leaders, our church leaders, our bishops and pastors. In the name of Jesus, let your blood cover us, Lord. Keep us under the shadow of thy wings, O oh Lord. And Father, we decree healing, deliverance. We speak it by faith. And that nothing come nigh the dwelling of thy people. Oh, God, that it will be a testimony of your miraculous provision on the behalf of thy people. And Father, we thank you for this broadcast. We pray that hearts may be encouraged. Oh, God, hearts may be lifted. Minds may be drawn to you. And that, Lord, you would get the glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And we thank you, Lord. Fell the green being on this broadcast today. We ask you would bless him and his family. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you and we decree it done in Jesus name. Thank God. Amen. There it is, my friend. This again is your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with the Faith in God Internet TV. We thank God for you being on the broadcast, Elder Green, and we thank God for all of our listeners and all of our subscribers. May God bless you until next time in Jesus name.